last video in the pranayama series last video of grant being serious on the mountaintop so i'm preparing my spine now for spinal breathing if you followed the first two videos double breathing and spinal toning this is where i have left off at the end of spinal toning i ohm down the central channel finishing at the root lum l-a-m mind is at the root of the spine and then I inhale and I trace the path of each of the spinal centers back up to the third eye. I hold the breath in for a moment, press the tongue to the roof of my mouth, eyes focus upward, and just really pull the energy upward without forcing. So there's no forcing in pranayama. You're just participating and facilitating. And I know I'm making faces here, but that's just me responding to the energy. And breath is held, chin is on the chest. And I think I'm going to release the chin here and exhale really slowly, but stay expansive in the body. Try to stay expansive in the body. There we go. Exhaling now. Focusing all of my attention inward on this process. Really just feeling, feeling. What do I feel? And now I'm moving into the spinal breath. I'm going to take a few spinal breaths here. Just clean up and clean down. Inhale up to third eye. Exhale from third eye down to the root. If you're aware of the principles of practice that we use at Bridge the Gap Yoga, they'll be employed here. And the empowerments, the bandhas and the mudras that we use are also helpful to facilitate the movement of energy in the spinal breath. And if you're having difficulty feeling the spinal breath, if it just doesn't feel like anything's happening, oftentimes that can be the case. You really just want to continue to focus your mind as much as possible on the spine as you breathe. So the breath travels up on the inhale and it travels down on the exhale. Very basic, very simple. And you can bring your attention to those spaces at the top of the inhale and at the bottom of the exhale where the breath is just floating. And then I'm gonna bring spinal bastrika in to amplify the effect, just to bring my mind's attention to each of those spinal centers starting at the root going up and going back down. And I'll do it one more time so you can see lum, vam, ram, yam, hum, om, om, hum, yam, ram, Vam, lam, full exhale, all the way out. Trace the path of the breath down. Hold the ear out for a moment. Kumbhaka. Employing the empowerments, the mudras and bandhas that feel good in your body, that feel productive. And then follow the breath in when it comes, tracing the inhale like you're threading a needle. And get to the top of the inhale breath and hold it. I'm pressing the third eye there. Breath is held in. Feeling the energy moving upward, upward, upward to the third eye. Again, there's no forcing or straining. That's a really important part of pranayama is that you're not trying too hard. Rather, I like the word participate and facilitate. See if you can participate and facilitate the flow of energy in your body. Loving awareness. And you can hold the breath for as long as feels good before you release. And again, stay, I like to say, say, stay big in the body. Try to expand in all directions. And then here I am preparing for some additional spinal breaths so I can just start to transition right into an easy inhale up and exhale down and you can see how my body responds to the breath you can see how my body is is um, participating in the breath and there you go yogis there's your spinal breathing happy sadhana everybody